My name is over. My days are over. Time having arrived, I call this meeting to order of the City Council for January 13th, 8 o'clock. If you could please stand and salute the flag. I pledge allegiance, allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Go on me. Thank you, Councils. Clerk, if we could have agenda item number one. Patricia of Intuit Auto Body Repair for Motor Vehicle Repair Mechanical Body License. Located at 515 North Main Street, in the clerk's office, November 21st, 2013. Hearing assigned for January 13, 2014. The fire department has no objections yes. on the mechanical license. However, it does have objections to the uh, body shop license. Time having arrived, I declare this hearing open. Is there anyone here in favor? If so, please come forward and give your name to the clerk. <coughs> Jason De Silva. Thank you for coming, Mr. De Silva. Thank you. Um, Mr. President. Councilor. Hello, Mr. DeSilver. Thank Hello. you for coming here this evening. Yep. So we've, we've spoken about um, the stipulations that I'd like to place on this license, so I'm going to go over them. But before I do that, I just wanted um, to talk to you about the body shop license, and we hadn't talked <coughs> about that before we walked in here. We had spoken that you wanted it, and Correct. you had said that there were some issues with the, fire, with the city about the body shop license. Could um, the clerk or, or president <coughs> tell me what the issues with the fire department on the body shop license are? Sure. On the application of Jason De Silva, 92 Copeland Street, West Bridgewater, Mass DBA, Intuit Auto Repair, Motor Vehicle Repair Body License, located at 5 North Main, 515 North Main Street, Brockton, the fire department has objection. Currently, there is no proper equipment to allow for painting, priming, or bonding on the premises. Pending the installation of the proper equipment to allow for painting, priming, and bonding, and the approval of the equipment and installation by the fire department. The fire department will then have no objections. Thank you so much, Mr. Clerk. So, Mr. De Silva, at this time, I'm, um, can, I, I would be, I would like to table the body shop license, which would mean that you would not have a body shop license until you worked with the fire department to get the appropriate um, mechanical requirements installed in your building. And then you would simply have to come back here and I would take that matter off the table and we can move forward with that portion of the license. Okay. Would that be agreeable with you or did you want to talk to your um, partners about that? Yeah, no, that's fine. That's okay with you. So um, the conditions that I'd like to set on the license are no outside work of the no work outside the building, no storage of parts outside of the building, no vending machines or payphones outside, only three work-related autos outside of the building related to this business, hours of operation on Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 6 p.m., Saturday, 10 a.m. to 4 p.m., and no work on Sundays. Um, and then the other two, this one has something to do with the spray booth, so I'm going to take that out. And then the last three had something to do with the spray booth. So I'm not going to put those on until you come back right. with, the, um, with, with having satisfied the requirements of the fire department. Okay. So, um, Mr. President, um, oh, can stand, please. thank you very much. Thank you. Should I, I would like to table the um, auto body license and move forward with the auto repair license at this time. So do I make, I wait till the hearings close, then I'll make mm -hmm. that motion? That's correct, Councilor. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. DeSilva. Thank you. Councilor, any questions? Mr. President, I have a question. Sure. Thank you. I'm Mr. DeSilva. Uh, good to see you. Good Thank see you for you. bringing your business here to Brockton. Um, I just wanted, uh, there's a history of the city having a really strong code enforcement team. So the stipulations that you've agreed to, you fully understand them, right? Absolutely. Um, and I just, it struck me that you're only going to have three vehicles, or uh, work-related vehicles on the premises. So is this what I That's three outside the premises. How many are allowed inside? Do you inside know? we've got six. 
Yeah, six vehicles inside. Okay, and, that and, and that's enough, I guess, capacity to ensure that oh, you're yeah. making... Oh, yeah, a that's business, you're making a profit and you're comfortable with that. Correct. It's part of your business plan. Yep. Okay, I bring this up every time a person comes before the council seeking a license because I've had owners who, you know, mortgage their homes against their business. They've had their license revoked because they broke these stipulations and then their personal <coughs> lives are all in turmoil in addition to their business lives. And we don't want that to happen. Absolutely, so, I understand. And you understand that you don't have to accept these, this agreement if it's going to hurt your business. You could... To continue to work with the, the counselor to come up with an agreement that works for your business plan, right? right. No, I believe right now we're okay. We understand the rules. Right. Uh, right, thank follow you. them as possible. Okay, right. All right. Thank time. you, Mr. President. Thank, thank you, Mr. President. Thank you. Uh, is there anyone else here in favor on this matter? If so, please give your name to the clerk. My name is Gary Leonard, 82 Bryan Drive in Brockton. I hail from Campello through the Business Association as their director and ambassador for business across the city. These gentlemen have been tenants of mine at 74 Plain Street, the Camp Hello Keith Oil Company. They ran a very good business. They were very clean, and I wish that the council would vote favorably in their petition because I believe they're what Brockton is looking for. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Leonard. Is there anyone else here in favor? Seeing none, I'm going to declare that portion of the hearing closed. Is anyone here in opposition? Seeing none, I hereby declare that part of the hearing closed. Councilor. Mr. Mr. President, this time I would like to table the auto repair license. Second. Second. Motion's been made and properly second to table. All in favor? Oh, one minute. One minute. Uh, Mr. Clerk, it's the auto, is it auto body that the fire department has a... Auto oh, body. I'm auto sorry. Body. Thank you. At this time I'd like to table the auto body license. The auto second. body yes. license. Until the fire department gives it. Motion's them. been made. Has it been properly seconded? Second, yeah. Motion's been made uh, and properly second to table just the body license. All in favor of tabling the body license. All opposed. <coughs> it's tabled. And Mr. President, at this Council. time I'd like to make a motion to approve the auto repair license. Which okay. the stipulations um, already <coughs> read. Motion's been made to accept the stipulations. There's been a, a motion made properly second. All in favor of the stipulations. All opposed. Stipulations are accepted. Now the matter comes before us. Uh, to accept, uh, grant the license with the stipulation strictly about the motor vehicle repair uh, mechanical license. All in favor of granting? All opposed? The license is hereby <coughs> granted with the stipulations. Thank you, sir. Mr. Clerk. Thank uh, you. Number two, please. Communication from the Mayor submitting a letter of resignation of Joanne M. Donovan from the Brockton's Commission on Women's Issues. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from DPW Commissioner. Request acceptance of the Mass Department of Environmental Protection, Sustainable Materials Recovery Program, Municipal Grant, in the amount of $2,000. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the Mayor recommending the same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the CFO relative to the same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the Fire Chief. Requested that the City Council authorize the acceptance of expenditures of the fiscal 2014 Student Awareness of Fire Education Grant in the amount of $10,786 and the fiscal 2014 Senior Safe Grant in the amount of $3,618 from the Commonwealth of Mass Department of Public Safety. This is a non-matching grant with no cost to the city. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the Mayor recommending the same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the CFO relative to the Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the Chief of the Fire Department. Request for transfer totaling $250,000. From fire full-time salary, $110,000. Dispatcher salary, $12,000. Auto they pay, $35,000. Separation costs, $93,000. To fire time, to fire overtime. In order to maintain all nine companies in service from January 1, 2014 through March 31, 2014. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the mayor recommending the same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the CFO relative to the same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the assistant city auditor certifying that the balance of the Park and Authority Reserve Fund as of January 7, 2014 is parking meter fees reserve $500,880.15 city lots and parking reserve fund is $324,099.27 garage. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the Parking Authority requesting a transfer of 
$4,860 from the city lots account to building and grounds in order to fund the replacement of the video recording <laughs> surveillances of the Lincoln Street parking lot. It's up to the place to file. Communication from the mayor recommending the transfer of $4,860 from the city lots to building and grounds to fund a replacement of video recorder. Accept the place on file. Communication from the CFO relative to the same. Accept the place on file. Communication from the Assistant City Auditor certifying the balance as of January 6, 2014, and the police full time shift and weekend differential are sufficient to cover the transfer to police overtime amount in the amount of $155,400. Accept the place on file. Communication from the Chief of Police requesting the following transfers to the Police Department Fiscal 14 budget, totaling $155,000. $400 from full time 133,000, shift differential 9,400, weekend 13,000 to overtime. This transfer is necessary to cover anticipated overtime expenditures, projecting that they will continue at the same pace as they have to date. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the mayor recommending the same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the CFO relative to the same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the director of community and social and safe corner street outreach services mm -hmm. requested that the city council accept additional money for the safe and successful youth initiative grant for the mass executive office of health and human services in the amount of one hundred thirty thousand three hundred and two dollars and six cents for the city of Brockton there will be no match by the city <coughs> this money will keep our programming going for months of January February at 90 Main Street Outreach services. Accept and placed on file. Communication from the mayor recommending the same. Accept and placed on file. Communication from the CFO relative to the same. Accept and placed on file. Communication from the assistant city auditor certifying the balance of the Park and Authority Reserve Fund as of January 7, 2014, is parking meter fees reserve city lots $500,880.15 and parking reserve fund garage $324,099.27. Accept and placed on file. Communication from Park and Authority requesting a transfer of $3,950 from the city garage to building the grounds to fund the repairs undertaken on the lighting at the Adams garage. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the mayor recommending the same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the CFO relative to the same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the chief of police requesting authorization to expend grant monies related to fiscal 2014 municipal police services staffing grant from the executive office of public safety and security in the amount of $608,223. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the mayor recommending the same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the CFO relative to the same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the director and the council of aging requesting that the City Council accept and extend a grant award in the amount of $109,982.65 from the Executive Office of Elder Affairs. Accepted and placed on file. Application from the Mayor recommending the same. Accepted and placed on file. Application from the CFO relative to the same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the Assistant City Auditor certifying that the balance of the Parking Authority Reserve Fund as of January 7, 2014 is parking meter fees reserve $500,880.15 City Lot and parking reserve fund is $324,099.27 garage. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the parking authority requesting the transfer of $11,000 from city lots to building and grounds to fund the cleanup of an oil spill in the marketplace lot, including removal and disposal of hazardous materials and professional services to close the case with the mass DEP. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the mayor recommending the same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the CFO relative to the same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the mayor in accordance with Mass General Laws, Chapter 44, recommended the city council authorize a transfer of $20,295 from personnel service department personnel employees benefits unemployment insurance to law department personal services other than overtime this transfer is to provide funding for additional position of part-time assistant city solicitor accepted and placed on file communication from the CFO relative to the same accepted and placed on file communication to the mayor in accordance with mass general laws chapter 44 recommending the city council authorize the transfer from yeah, finance personal services <laughs> other than overtime $30,000 and from personnel department personnel employee benefits unemployment insurance $24,200 to office of the mayor personal services other than overtime $54,200 
in order to provide funding for the transitional costs and compensation to the staff of two mayors, separation costs for the outgoing administration staff, and added sal uh, salary costs for the new mayor's staff. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the CFO relative to the same. Accepted and placed on file. We have an order. <coughs> Rules and regulating governing motor vehicles for the hire under Chapter 159A for the carrying of passages. Refer to finance. An order assessor to act as so agents of the City Council in the matter of apportionment of betterments. Refer to finance. Order clerk to give notice of hearings before Council. Refer to finance. Order regulations governing the operation of hawkers and peddlers within the City. Refer to finance. Order pawnbrokers that deliver a list of purchased pawned articles to the Chief of Police. Refer to finance. We have an appropriation of $2,000 for the Mass Department of Environmental Protection <coughs> Sustainable Materials Recovery Program, <coughs> a municipal grant, the Refuge Department Recycling Container his grant fund. Refer to finance. Appropriation of $14,404 from the column of MAST for the Public Safety Student Awareness Fire Education Grant to Procter Fire Department Fiscal 14 Student Awareness Fire Education Grant Funds, $10,786. And from the Commonwealth of MAST Department of Safety Senior Fiscal 2014 Senior Awareness Fire Education Grant to Brockton Fire Department Senior Awareness of Fire Education Grant Fund, $3,618. This is a non-managing grant with no cost to the city. Fur to finance. We have the appropriation totaling $250,000 from the entire full-time salary, $110,000, dispatcher salary, $12,000, holiday pay, $35,000, separation cost, $93,000, to fire department overtime in order to maintain all nine companies in service from January 1, 2014 through March 31, 2014. Councilor Neary. Mr. President, if I might, I'd like to move this under a suspension of the rules and act upon this this evening. Second. Second. Motions were made to take uh, under suspension rules on this tonight. It's been properly seconded. All in favor? All opposed? <coughs> Mr. President? Councillor. Would we be afforded um, questions to the fire chief that's here? Absolutely. The fire chief's here tonight. If any councillors have any questions, I know he'd be uh, ready, willing, and able to answer any questions. May I ask that we remain seated when we ask questions? Yes, you may, Councillor. Thank you. Councillor, do you have a question for the chief? I do, but I don't want to step on um, Councillor uh, Iannieri's uh, that's fine. Okay, yeah. thank you. You're all set. I do. Mr. Chief, uh, Chief, if you could come forward, please. Good evening, Councillors. Hi, Good evening. Chief. Could you explain this in a, a little bit more? Sure, Councillor. <clears throat> um, the bottom line is um, I'm going to be out of overtime by next week. I have no overtime left for the year um, <clears throat> due to a, a lot of different things. I mean, uh, our staffing levels were still 21 uh, firefighters down from what we were from. 2006. Um, <clears throat> also, too, is is uh, it's t it's almost impossible to budget for people out on injury, sick leave, things of that nature. Um, <clears throat> the storms. <clears throat> There's a variety of things that that wore it down. Um, <clears throat> these uh, different accounts that I'm taking money out. Um, what it is is because we delayed the hiring of the 12 new firefighters from July to December. That freed up. Uh, a bunch of the money, and we've had some retirements also. So you're taking the 250,000 out of full-time salary, dispatcher salary, holiday pay, and separation costs, and you're putting it into overtime. Right, that's correct. All right, thank you very much. Sure. Thank you, Mr. President. Council, Council, any other questions for the chief? Seeing none. Motion to recommend favorably. Uh, Motion's been made, properly <coughs> seconded. Uh, if we could have a roll call vote, Mr. Clerk. <coughs> Yes. Burns. Yes. Approved. Yes. Yes. Wow. Yes. 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 Appropriation's been approved. Mr. President. Councilor I move for reconsideration in hopes it does not prevail. Second. Yeah. Motions were made for reconsideration in hopes it doesn't prevail, but properly second. All in favor of reconsideration? All opposed? Motion for reconsideration fails. An appropriation of $130,302.06 from the Commonwealth of Massachusetts <coughs> Executive Office of Health and Human Services Safe and Successful Youth Initiative Grant to Office of the Mayor's Safe and Successful Youth <coughs> Initiative Grant Fund. These grant funds will be used to support ongoing community programs for the months of January and February at 90 Main Street and Street Outreach Services. There is no required match for this grant. Councilor Neri. Councilor, um, Mr. President and members of the Council, this is uh, time sensitive and I know 
the, uh, the mayor had even uh, requested that we try to act upon this, this evening. So I'm going to make a motion uh, under suspension of the rules that we act upon it tonight. I know Ms. Cappiello is here if we have any questions. Second. 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 Motions were made, <coughs> properly seconded, take on the suspension rules and act on this tonight. Does anybody have any questions for Ms. Cappiello? I do, Mr. President, actually. Ms. Cappiello, if you come forward, Mr. St Council Stewart. Good evening. Good evening. Good to see you again. You too. Uh, you may not be prepared for this question, um, so if this is something you need to come back mm -hmm. to the council with, I can understand. Um, so of the funding for these types of programs, what percentage of the money is spent on um, hiring residents from the impacted community and or purchasing goods and services from the community that the grants are intended to serve? So after the last time I was here, I emailed all of you what percentage went to what. I could do that again like what percentage of the money goes to services as opposed to salaries? Is that what you're asking? No, I'm asking, oh, I'm, sorry. Um, no, I'm asking, and so these grants are typically intended for a targeted population. 14 to 24 year old Brockton males. And, and it's usually for residents who live in a certain part of the city, correct? Nope. But those... They're identified as proven risk youth. Yeah, and those, but those risks, those, where are those youth typically where do they typically live? In the They're city? all over the city. They just have to be proven risk, likely to be a victim or perpetrator of gun violence, but they're not. They live all over the city. Could you send us demographics of where those students live in the city? Um, but you're targeting a certain group of kids, right? In the city, correct? I would have to check if I can actually send you their ad. I don't know if I'm... Per I, I can look into this and see what I can do. Okay. Um, or maybe get a map of the areas. Yeah, so I'm interested in, uh, so I'm not interested in specific addresses, but I'm interested in what parts of the city these young people who were serving, serving happen to live. And, I, and then I'd like to know um, for those individuals who are hired and for goods and services that are purchased, if those goods and services are in the city or out of the city, I'd like to know. And, if, and from what businesses are those services purchased from? Where are they located? And then for those individuals who are hired, where are they located in the city? Where our employees live, you want to know? Yes. Areas of the city? Yes. And it can be broken down by um, the political districts, if that's easier to do. Areas of city where employees live. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you, Council. Council, any other questions for <coughs> Ms. Uh, Capiello? Motion to recommend favorably. Second. Second. Motion's been made. Properly seconded. Take on the suspension rules and act on this favorably tonight. I'll take a roll call vote, please. Yes. 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 Appropriations approved. Thank you. Transfer of six hundred eight thousand two hundred twenty-three dollars. The Mass Executive Office of Public Safety and Security Community Policing Grant, the City of Brockton Police Department, Fiscal 14 Community Policing Grant Fund. Court of Finance. <clears throat> Appropriation of $109,982.65 from the Executive Office of Elder Affairs, Fiscal 2014 Formula Grant to Council on Aging Elder Affairs Grant Fund. Grant is to be used for salaries including overtime, energy, department equipment, and repairing, printing, office supplies, and registrations, memberships, and subscriptions. That's referred to finance. Appropriation $11,000 from city lots to building and grounds. That's referred to finance. Transfer $4,860 from city lots to building and grounds. Referred to finance. Transfer totaling $155,400 from police full-time $133,000. Shift to financial 9400 Weekend 13000 to police overtime. That's referred to finance. Transfer of $3,950 from city garage to building and grounds. That's referred to finance. Resolved that the city council votes to authorize the superintendent to submit to the Massachusetts School Board Authority the statement of interest form dated December 17, 2013 for school building projects. Council Yaneri. Mr. President, members of the city council, this here is a time sensitive issue as well and I think what we'd like to do here is again suspend the rules and vote on it this evening because uh, Superintendent of Schools Kathleen Smith has to apply and this this is similar to what um, the same type of projects we did uh, just a few years ago with the uh, 
projects um, uh, regards, regarding the roofs of some of our school buildings. So it is time sensitive and there is a lot of money involved here that could be uh, of great interest to the city of Brockton. So I make that uh, motion this evening. Second. Second. Motions were made, uh, properly seconded. <coughs> Before we act on that, just point of information, Mayor Carpenter explained to me that this is just step one in a process. School committee also had to do this as well. And then if it's a favorable vote, school committee and city council, it gets submitted to the state. So it's just <coughs> step one of many steps. Uh, act on the suspension of rules and voting list tonight. Is there a motion made? Motion to recommend favorable. Second. Motions were made, recommend favorable. That's been properly seconded. All in favor? All opposed? We'll take a roll call on that as well, Mr. Clerk. Yes. 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 Matter has been approved. Transfer of twenty thousand two hundred ninety-five dollars from personnel <coughs> department personnel employee benefits unemployment insurance to law department personal services other than overtime. This transfer is to provide funding for an additional position of part-time assistant city solicitor. That's referred to finance. Transfer of totaling fifty-four thousand two hundred dollars from finance personal services other than overtime, thirty thousand dollars, and from personnel employee benefits unemployment insurance, twenty-four thousand two hundred dollars to the Office of the Mayor, Personal Services Other Than Overtime, in order to provide funding for the transitional cost and compensation to the staff of two mayors, separation costs for the outgoing administration staff, and added salary costs for the new mayor staff. That's referred to finance. Council President. Uh, Council Stewart. Under the uh, suspension of the rules, I'd like to submit two late files, please. Second. I think the clerk has them. <coughs> Resolved that the City Council of the City of Brockton go on record urging Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac to cease all new fault evictions and, foreclo evictions and foreclosures until new FHFA Director Mel Watt has time to review all policies of Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac. Heard of finance. Resolved that the Mayor, Chief Financial Officer, and Personnel Director be invited to appear before a committee of this Council to discuss the impact of the residency law and to review the recommendations of the DOR to repeal the residency ordinance. For the finance. Councilors, uh, our colleague, Councilor at Large, uh, Moises Rodriguez, is actually out of the country. Uh, he indicated to me at the inaugural to please uh, explain to you why he's not here tonight. He's not here tonight because he's with a group from St. Edith Stein Church there in Cape Verde. Uh, he won't be here next week as well, and then he'll come back uh, soon thereafter. So that's, that's why Councilor Lodge Rodriguez isn't here tonight. Uh, Councilors, I also just want to make it clear, I don't think I, uh, I indicated it uh, at the inaugural, but uh, for this year, 2014, I'm going to uh, follow past practice. I'm going to be very stringent when it comes to late files, when it comes to acting under suspension of the rules. Uh, I think it's, uh, again, appropriate to do uh, suspension of rules for certain cases, such as when we do promotions for fire and police. But we need to be very, very cognizant of the fact that a late file or un acting under suspension of the rules is really done in emergency situations. It's always been that way when I was president in 2008 and, and when Council Unaria was. Uh, and I think we need to do that going forward. I did explain that to Mayor Coppiner uh, this week as well, because again, there is a practice and procedure here as a legislative body. So I just wanted to, again, reiterate that to you. Of course, it's going to be case by case. If there is an emergency situation, we will address it appropriately. But I just want to make sure everyone's crystal clear on that. Uh, any other business before us tonight? Remember the Martin Luther King holidays coming up on Monday. We have the breakfast this weekend, Council Dubois, if you want to remind everybody. <laughs> you could, but I will do it. I'm happy to do it. So the, um, Mar thank you, Welcome, President uh, Sullivan, for reminding us. So the Martin Luther King breakfast is on Monday, uh, is on Saturday, Saturday the 18th. Um, the doors of the Shaw Center open at 8.30, and the program will start at 9. And there are other activities going on for Martin Luther King um, during the weekend, and I don't know all the exact details of them. Uh, there's you? an event on Sunday at Temple Beth Amuna on Torrey, uh, Torrey and Pearl Street. Uh, it's, a, it's a luncheon. Um, and there's some great speakers. I know Council Stewart, I, I see him there every year. There's going to be uh, another good forum, so if you can go there, please go to it. It's a great cause. Um, and, of course, on Sunday we, we're going to root wholeheartedly for the Patriots, so go Pats. Yeah. Any other matters before us? Seeing uh, none? Mr. President, Mr. Mr. President oh. I would be remiss if I didn't mention the, that also at Massasoit Community College there's an event on Monday at 
2 o'clock. The actual holiday. Yes, sir. Okay. Thank you, sir. Counselor. That's what I was going to say. Okay. No other matters before us tonight? Meetings hereby adjourned.